Welcome back to another video. Today I am doing an update on 75 hard. I am up to day 10. I am absolutely loving it. In all honesty, I feel like this was exactly what I needed because without being able to fly to Australia this year to compete, I felt a sense of kind of loss. Like I haven't stepped on stage all last year and then this year I knew that I wouldn't be able to get on stage again and I just needed something to really hone in and put my kind of attention onto in terms of my fitness journey. So I did tell you in my last video all the rules about it including you know how much water you have to drink, that you have to read 10 pages, you have to do two workouts, one outside, one inside and all the other little things that you need to do in order to tick off the day and win it. So my key things I've been doing over the 10 days I usually do five weight training sessions a week and then I have two rest days. I'll usually hit 10,000 steps a day depending on my goals. But for 75 hard, I wanted to mix things up a bit. So I'm still hitting five weight sessions a week. But on my rest days, I'm actually doing a 45 minute yoga session in the morning. So I honestly just Google a YouTube search. 45 minutes yoga and then I pick whichever video I feel like doing and I'll do that for 45 minutes So that is my morning workout for my active rest day and then later on in the day I'll do a 45 minute walk So my second workout of every day is just a 45 minute walk around the park and I honestly think that this is doing wonders for me mentally and physically because I have to do it three out at least a minimum of three hours after my first workout. So this means that I have to be better with my time throughout the day so that I can fit in a 45 minute walk later on in the day. But it also breaks up my day. It means that I get outside in the fresh air regardless of the weather. So <laughs> it did actually rain on me a little bit when I went out walking with my friend Simone last week and that was fine it was actually really fun i find that some days i almost wish it would rain so that i have to make myself go out into the rain but i have been really lucky with the weather so touch with the next you know i think it's like nine weeks or so are uh you know quite nice weather even though we're going into winter winter here in new zealand so following on from that i have been reading i finished my book how to win friends and influence people yesterday so I have a whole lot of books that I kind of started a while ago and then maybe I got bored of them or I never finished them. So during the 75 days, I'm going back to those books and making sure that I finish them completely. So I'm kind of starting a few books halfway through, but I just have to make sure I finish them before I start the next book, which is great. My day routine usually starts off as waking up at 4.30 in the morning. I'll head to the gym. I'll do my first workout. I'll drink some water as well. I come home. I read 10 pages. I shower, freshen up and then get started on the rest of my day, sip on water throughout the day. And I make sure that I've drank my four liters, my gallon of water well before, you know, the late afternoon. Another thing I wanted to update you on is my physical progress because a lot of people use 75 hard is kind of a fat loss and weight loss program, but it's meant to be a discipline program it's meant to be for your mental toughness it's to show you that you know what if it's snowing or it's raining outside you still have to go outside and do the walk or whatever your workout is outside because conditions aren't always going to be perfect you just have to get the work done the reading and a lot of the other key habits are about remembering the small things like taking progress photos each day if you forget to take a progress photo you have to go back to day one and start again so it's kind of just showing you that all the little habits that you do each day matter and when it comes to my 75 hard journey and what I wanted to do with my nutrition I wanted to do if it fits your macros on a whole foods based approach so I pretty much have cut out like any kind of chocolate and ice cream and things like that I'm eating whole foods I'm absolutely loving it I'm getting stronger in the gym I feel really good and I decided to make the first about 30 days a caloric deficit so I'm 10 days in and today I weighed in and my scale weight was down two kilos. So of course, scales can fluctuate a lot and maybe it was just a low weigh-in day today. I don't know until you know I weigh in every other day for this week and get an average, but I'm definitely down a kilo in 10 days, close to two kilos maybe, and that's just because. It's not because of 75 hard, it's just because I'm in a caloric deficit and I'm being, being really consistent with my nutrition. So we had a family dinner on Saturday night. I didn't touch the brownie, I didn't touch the custard, I didn't touch the ice cream. I had my own 
sugar-free jelly and of course there's certain people that will say oh well you can't have sugar-free products on 75 hard 75 hard is about doing something that challenges you and doing a diet that suits you so keto people they get to have like cream they get to have any kind of high fat things and i see you know having sugar-free jelly no worse than having a sugar-free soda and people you know will have sugar-free sodas and sugar-free drinks so i don't see why i can't have you know sugar-free maple syrup or jelly i think what i'm doing is really healthy for me i'm absolutely loving it but each to their own as to what diet they choose to do remember the most important thing when it comes to fat loss is a caloric deficit so whether you're eating carbs or not eating carbs doesn't matter if you're eating too many calories you just won't lose fat really happy with that i did take a progress photo today which happened to be the same outfit as i wore a week ago or so and i'm noticing progress so i'll pop that up here i think there's a kilo or so difference between the weight in that so that's really cool and otherwise i'm just feeling good and i thought i'd maybe do like an update every 10 days or so on youtube but if you want to follow my journey more so i'm also posting it on my youtube stories but also on tiktok so check out my tiktok because i do a video diary every single day it's a way for me to not only create content but to also stay accountable and share my journey with anyone that's kind of interested in it i am loving it do I think that 75 hard is for everyone? I've been thinking about it a little bit more and I actually did a podcast on it with Ross, my fiance. So you can check out the podcast. I'll put it in the link below or you can just search it up on Spotify or Apple and you'll be able to find it. So that's kind of everything I wanted to say in this little chit chat. Super simple one. I hope you're having an amazing month. I cannot believe that there's only 36 weeks left of this year. If you're struggling when it comes to achieving your goals, you know where to find me. Sign up at injuliemac.com. I'll send you an email about your goals and we can get started working today.